How's it, how's it? And thank you for joining me for some more D24 engine teardown. Today we're going to be finally taking off the torque converter and flex plate. Starting with this 12 millimeter bolt. It's nice and exposed, so we're going to get at it first. Apologies these videos aren't coming out as frequently as they did before. Um, I've been pretty busy lately, so this is now just a weekend only project. So I'll probably manage to make about one video a week. Yeah, buying a house. And the Volkswagen Rabbit that you see in the background is so close to being on the road. So that's been taking up most of my time. But weekends, I've been trying to put aside a bit of time for this. It's still interesting, so I'm going to keep plugging away at it. And now I'm just rotating the motor over to try to get at the other 12 millimeter. You can barely see it through the starter loop. There it is. There are a total of three bolts holding the torque converter to the flex plate here. Unfortunately, the last one is in a place that I just can't get to, so we're going to have to grind it out, which shouldn't be a surprise. If I have a mechanical issue in one of my videos on my cars, there's a good chance I'll grind the problem away. But we were at least able to get two out of three without grinding, so that's that's pretty good. It could have been a lot worse. And away we go. So I ran out of cutting blade before I could get all the way through the bolt, so I'm just going to try to chisel it out the remainder of the way. Pop. And if you see the torque converter, it moved a little bit. Yeah, this uh, video is brought to you by the pry bar. Definitely the most useful tool. And you can see it's wiggling. I just got to wiggle it out. And I was mistaken. I thought that seam on the flex plate was actually like the seam between the torque converter and the flex plate. But as you can see, it's all just one piece. Got it a little stuck. Just need some finagling. And off it comes. And there we go. There's our torque converter. In the trash it goes. Plop. Now it's time to pop off the flex plate. These are 17 millimeters. And it's time to pop off the flex plate. Off it comes. I was worried it might have been pretty stuck. And 
that goes in the trash too. I won't be replacing this with an automatic. And now we're just taking off the rear main seal that's being held on with 10 millimeters with little washers. So off it comes. And this thing's got some nice casting marks to pry on, so make use of them. Ta-da! Now it's just going to be a matter of finagling the crankshaft out. There you go, there's a main bearing. And now you could take the main bearings and just wiggle them all out nice and gentle. A couple of them come out by hand, but most of them, once they're wiggled, they pop right off. And now it's time to get that last main bearing off. Um, we didn't loosen this one before because it was blocked by the rear main seal plate. But that's just a 17 millimeter as well. And once again, I, I really wish I had my rattle gun, but unfortunately, it died. Mr. Impact died. I have not been able to revive it. So that's why I'm doing this all by hand now. The hard way. Doesn't take too much longer, really. And this back one is a little bit tough to get to. It's pretty easy to wiggle it from side to side, but you can't really get a good pinching grip on it. You can see I'm going for it right here. But the best way to do it is actually to get the pry bar on the upper and lower parts of the bearing, like I'm doing right now. And then it pops right out. All right, now it's just a matter of wiggling the crankshaft out. I still do have a couple of uh, connecting rods that didn't want to come undone on six, one, and four. So here I'm working on six. There we go, there's six down. One just plopped off. And I'm stuck on number four. I'm trying to split it now. And I stopped going fast because I have no idea what this is. There's two of them on the middle two pistons. And I have no clue what they are. So I kind of took that little pause just as a note later. Remember, two weird half moons in the middle of the engine. And there we go. Out comes our crankshaft. Da -da -da -da. Finally. And it is heavy. I was not expecting that. And now I'm just taking off the injection pump bracket. It sticks out a lot, and I think it'll make life a little harder when we're pounding out pistons. And taking off the fuel filter as well, because once I turn it upside down, it's just going to piss diesel all over the place. And all of these are 17 mil. And here we go, pounding out piston number five. Just using a soft mallet. It is, after all, just aluminum. And it plopped down there pretty far. I 
I reassembled the connecting rod a little bit. I didn't want to be hammering on the studs like I did before. And I think that's about as deep as it's going to go. I might give it a whack or two. It's about as deep as it's going to go, boss. And it doesn't quite stick out the bottom. Would be nice. So here's my punch, air quotes. The only piece of soft wood that I've got in the whole workshop. Everything else is a metal punch. And there we go. It plopped all the way down onto the ground. Time for number four. Plop, down that one goes. So that's four and five. And I'm going to give six a shot, but it's solid. I don't know what I'm going to do about these tougher ones. Um, I'm definitely going to need an engine stand. Something to work on this that's better than just the floor. But I give it a couple more whacks just for completeness sake. Not gonna happen. I'll find a better punch for the next video, don't worry. Yeah, just whack it harder. Whack it more. That'll do it. And it didn't move at all. So now I gotta pick up on it to try to get the two pistons I did remove out. It's not tall enough just yet. Ta da! Four and five. I've seen a lot of forum posts, people talking about where they would add oil squirters when they turbo convert these D24s. And right here on those flat castings, that's where the squirter should go. Anyhow, for the next video, I'll be getting a real engine stand, hopefully, and pounding out the more stubborn of all these pistons. Stay tuned.